Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. I am back to do another new release Tuesday video. Today I'm talking about books that come out on Tuesday, December 12th. So the first book I want to highlight is a memoir and it's called The Only Girl in the World. It's by Maud Julian and it's been translated from the French by Adriana Hunter. So Maud Julian's parents were fanatics who believed it was their sacred duty to turn their daughter into like the ultimate survivor. So they raised her in isolation. They tyrannized her childhood and subjected her to endless sort of drills to prepare her. So Maud ended up learning how to hold an electric fence for five minutes and to sit perfectly still in a rat infested basement. Um, her parents or her mom sewed bells to her clothing so that way like her parents would know if she moved while she was in that basement. She endured life without heat, adequate food, friendships, or any sort of like affection or outward love. But Maud's parents couldn't rule her inner life. She ended up befriending the animals that lived on the estate that she lived on as well as befriending the friends in novels that she sort of like read in secret. After a decade of isolation, an outsider ends up sort of infiltrating into her family's world and she sort of seizes that opportunity. So obviously this book sounds like super difficult and depressing. Like this is a memoir so these are all true events that happened. Um, but if you are someone who read like The Room or The Glass Castle, these stories with children who are forced to deal with very difficult situations in their families, then this might be a book that's of interest to you. And again, that's the only girl in the world. Next up, I have the sponsor for the episode and it is Book Riot Insiders. Book Riot Insiders is a subscription service that we have here at Book Riot and you get a whole lot of perks through this subscription service. You get to pick what level of perks you end up getting based on like the subscription tier level that you are a part of, but you end up getting getting like exclusive content including like a book riot read harder podcast and another sort of like insiders only podcast there's behind the scenes content you get a discount to the book riot store you can also get access to the new releases index which is this really fantastic website that is curated by liberty hardy and it's a really great way to keep track of the upcoming book releases so head over to bookriot.com insiders for more information and I highly recommend checking that out. It's so great. All right, next up I have a poetry collection and it is Witch Wife by Kiki Petrosino. The poems of Witch Wife are spells, obsessive incantations to exercise or celebrate memories, to mourn the beloved dead, to conjure children or to keep them at bay, to faithfully inhabit one's body. They're also concerned with dismantling the idea of modern American womanhood. What does it mean to be a wife or a mother? when you are ambivalent towards motherhood? How are those roles further shaped and confused by being a woman of color here in the United States? Kiki Petrosino has written a number of different poetry collections. So if you are someone who's really interested in poetry collections or if you're just someone who is interested in those ideas being explored, definitely check out Witch Wife. Next I have The Love of a Bad Man by Laura Elizabeth Willette. This is a short story collection and in this collection Willette is exploring both fictional and real life women who were the wives wives, lovers, mistresses of really bad men. So in one story, there's a schoolgirl who catches the eye of a future leader of Nazi Germany. In another, an aspiring playwright writes to a convicted serial killer for inspiration. She also writes a story about Blanche, who is the sister-in-law to Bonnie and Clyde, and Charles Manson's California Girls. This book is being described as beautifully disturbed, fascinating, and at times horrifying. And these stories sort of interrogate power and the nature of obsession. So if you are someone who likes stories that are slightly on the darker, slightly more twisted side, then you should check out The Love of a Bad Man. Next up I have They Know Not What They Do by Juicy Valtonen and translated by Christian London. Juicy Valtonen, I apologize if I'm completely butchering that name, is a Finnish author and this is a mystery thriller type book. You are following this character who has gotten everything that he has ever wanted. He has a reputation as one of America's top neuroscientist, a beautiful wife, and two perfect daughters, but his idyllic life is threatened when his Baltimore neuroscience 
lab is threatened by animal rights activists. After this attack, he receives a phone call from his ex-wife in Finland. Two decades have passed since he has left his ex-wife Alina and their young son Samuel and returned to the United States in order to pursue his career. Now Samuel is somewhere in the United States and Alina, the ex-wife, is concerned that he is seeking out revenge. As Joe is struggling to protect his family from increasing threats of violence, he's forced to reconsider his priorities and take some drastic action in order to protect the ones he loves. And again, that's called They Know Not What They Do. And the final book I'm going to talk about is We'll Sleep When We're Old by Pino Corius. This story takes place in present-day Rome and you are following this extremely successful film producer. His best friend Andrea, who is a scriptwriter who explores the themes of love and murder in his work, as well as this beautiful actress who is the film producer sort of muse who has a secret that has been tormenting her for years. When a fire devastates the film producer's villa in one of the most fashionable neighborhoods in Rome and he goes missing, all of Rome starts to speculate about what actually happened. The evidence points towards the actress but everyone wonders if she's capable of doing something so sinister and then people start to speculate about whether or not Andrea had a part to play in this whole situation. This book is being described as being darkly funny, gripping, and completely immersive, and the author delivers a powerful story of the entertainment industry in Rome today where celebrities rule all. And again, that's called We'll Sleep When We're Old. So those are all of the books I'm going to talk about in this video. Definitely leave a comment down below letting me know if you're planning on picking up any of these books or if there are any other books coming out today that you are very excited about. So yeah, that's all I have for this video and I will see you guys next week with another new release Tuesday video. Bye!